Ash versus Jaina. You asked for it. Victory or death. Hogseed's not good against Mage, right? So we'll just toss it. Might draw into it with Town Crier anyway. I think Juggler's pretty good in this matchup, just because it can apply so much face pressure. Maybe that's just not that important though. Alright, so next turn we can go double juggle plus town crier. Start hitting him in the head. Okay, it's this build. That's a pretty slow turn though. I don't really mind that. Frothing on curve. I look pretty far ahead, but he can go like Sorcerer's Apprentice, Mirror Image, Double Ray of Frost, Magic Trick into more Rays of Frost, and I can get pretty wrecked here. Okay, Spear to the Rhino. I guess I can try to kill this Mountain Giant. Probably have to send both of my guys into it, not just one more. Alright, this is good. Solid turn. I don't think I even missed any damage doing that, because when I trade off a guy it makes my frothing plus two bigger. Does he have a ray of frost for the frothing? He might still just be dead. I beat mirror image on board. Yeah. Alright, that was nice. That spear of the rhino put in a lot of work on that mountain giant. Probably won't have much to rush into on turn two with the Hog Steed. I could keep the Spirit of the Rhino with the Magic Carpet, but I think I really want to curve out into the Magic Carpet. Found a Young Priestess, but she's not great in this matchup. If I play her on one, he might feel forced to coin out a dagger. But I think I'd rather just play a 1-3. Next turn, maybe I can play her along with the Abusive Sergeant, and sometimes she buffs the Abusive Sergeant out of weapon range or something. I'm just gonna play this guy here, save my one drops for the carpet. This is what I was expecting him to do a minute ago. But apparently he had some options to think about. So sometimes the carpet dies if I play it here. He needs 5 damage. It pretty much needs to be like backstab eviscerate. Maybe deckhand eviscerate. What about coin? I guess it could be backstab coin waggle pick as well. I'm just gonna play it though. If I had a Frothing Berserker or something, I would definitely play that instead of the carpet. But this is just not a good turn, playing all this garbage. Does Rogue have any way to activate a Scarab Egg? They don't typically play Cold Blood. I don't think I have to worry about the Scarab Egg. It's too much effort to kill it anyway. So, let's see. 
I think it makes sense to go abusive sergeant here. Get in there and fight, maggot. Yes, in here. Then take all this stuff out and drop a battle rage. Hey, that Scarabig is bad against my Sea Giant. Ooh, Spirit of the Rhino. So I can go triple one drop plus one mana rushing Sea Giant. I could also go frothing, kill the egg, then I can play a one mana sea giant. That just doesn't seem that worth it. And these are Rush. Yikes, the Priestess buffed the Sea Giant, which was the worst target by a lot. Wow, he got some pretty insane lackeys this game. But I'm still doing pretty okay, I think. So... Yeah, I don't need to play Battle Rage this turn, right? Alright, one sap down, and I have two, three, maybe even four major threats in play. And then even if he can somehow deal with Sea Giant plus Frothing, like Sap Eviscerate, I guess, I still get to draw three or four cards with his Battle Rage. Yeah, he's super dead. I think I'm always pretty happy to keep a Frothing Berserker. Knife Juggler's a little bit more questionable. What am I expecting Warlock to be? Probably Zoo? I don't even know if I went Frothing against Zoo, honestly. Carpet is the nuts, right? Frothing is just so good, though, it's probably worth a keep, but I don't think Juggler is. Also, Frothing is really good if he's not Zoo. Okay, he's Zoo. Do I want to coin out Hinge Clan Hog Seed? Probably not. I don't really mind taking this 3 damage because it turns on my Battle Rage. If I coin Frothing, it gets one shot, so that's probably not the play. Point out the Taskmaster. Gets to value trade over the dog next turn. The light protects me. Ooh, carpet. I think I just like going frothing for now. He does unfortunately get a pretty good trade here at the Squire, but then Frothing cleans up the taunt pretty easily. Maybe I get to go carpet one drop or something next turn. Or maybe I just hold the carpet for a couple turns and then drop multiple one drops alongside it. Oh, Soulfire. I don't think Soulfire is that common in that deck, is it? Get this lackey, and then I guess I'm gonna drop a carpet. Should be really difficult for him to deal with a carpet with only a squire in play. And then next turn I can go second carpet, hopefully double one drop.
Pretty strong turn. Also, since he killed a guy, I'm not going to be able to play Sea Giant. Not for one mana, at least. How do I want to do this? I guess I want to evolve this carpet. Then this is still big enough to go in here. Scargill's not that exciting. Maybe I should have just held back on the second carpet that turn and played a Sea Giant. I don't know. I think this is fine. I have a couple pretty threatening minions that he has to deal with. And the Sea Giant's pretty much always playable from this point, I think. Wow, that's a gross turn. Playing a 5 mana Sea Giant here just sucks so much. I don't know if this is much better, but I'll try it. Hitting the Rabid Worgen here was actually really nice, because now we can't go double 1-1 one, one into the Scargill. Oh. Okay, well my commanding shot is super strong this turn. Extraordinary. Can play these for four mana, so I can just play everything, right? I guess it doesn't really matter how I trade here. I've seen a soul fire, so even though I'm only at seven here, seven might just be fine. Oh right, he reformed his deck anyway. Crystallizer's not much of a draw. I think I really want my Sea Giant to go face. Probably want to trade into his Sea Giant though. Which I guess is... what? 1-1-4-1? One, 3-1 one, one. One goes in here and then I can push 11. I can go 3-1 plus 2-1 into this instead. Scargill has to go in here. I miss 1 damage. I guess I could see Giant in here and then trade off into these guys, but there's no way that's worth it. I think I like these trades the best. Hmm. I did miss one damage, and now if he goes into Scargill, I'm one off lethal. Okay, I'm not worried about Grawl. He's pretty big, but I'm not that worried about him. It's hard for him to have a 4 mana legendary here, and if he taps he's dead. If he doesn't tap, his board's just not that scary. Should have traded this instead of the Town Crier. Because, uh, Town Cryer was damaged for Battle Rage. This Talonji could be pretty nasty. Oh, okay. I guess the Talonji wasn't gonna be nasty. I'm gonna have a hard time beating this Jiraxxus, though. Casual heal for 14 or whatever it was. Alright, how gross is this? No taunt or anything. He's at 10. I don't think I have a lethal draw here. It 
So this is... I trade these off, and they give my Frothing plus two attacks. So I need to draw three damage. Um, improve morale into the Kobold Lackey would do it. Nothing else, though. But there's no way it's ever worth damaging my Frothing to get an extra card out of the Battle Rage, right? Oh shit, here we go. 20 percenter. Earned. I think the turn that I played that carpet instead of the sea giant might have been kind of dumb. 